So phenomenal news, everybody. MiHoYo have actually pre-announced what characters they're going to be releasing in Genshin Impact. Uh, this is the closest I think we're going to get to a roadmap in Genshin Impact. Chat, we're very excited this morning. Chat, say hi to everybody on YouTube. Um, they were very excited by this because they get to actually decide what is coming out, what they can farm for, and they can basically uh, you know, decide what how they want to spend their primal gems, which is the right way to do things in MiHoYo. Uh, I don't agree with kind of hiding everything giving people FOMO about characters, not wondering if there's going to be another character they like, so they spend on the current character. And then obviously you've got the a lot of Genshin content creators telling everybody that every character is amazing, which in turn I think creates quite an un uncomfortable atmosphere and uncomfortable situation when it comes to um, kind of the type of game Genshin is, with it being a gacha game, with it kind of being a gambling game. And I think we've got to be very careful about the type of information we put out as content creators and um, how that can affect especially younger younger viewers or people who maybe have an addictive personality. Anyway, that's a whole situation for another time. Uh, this is Yomiya, Flocking Flames. Uh, some, supposedly a relation to Waka Flocka Flame, the uh, esteemed rapper from America. Um, they are different races, but I mean, forget, forget about that. They're still probably related somehow. Um, anyway, uh, Pyro Archer. Um... Owner of the Nang Unhara fireworks. Nice. Interesting. Um, she's got the Orochimaru bow on the back, which of course means she's going to be OP. Uh, anybody with the Orochimaru bow is going to be super strong. Uh, cool design. She's actually very, very pretty in a non-childish kind of way, which is nice. Uh, so uh, my guess is with her, she's going to end up being a pyro applicator. Um, I don't know if all these characters are going to be DPS, man. She'll probably end up being very good at pyro application, is my guess. Uh, I know not much else about her, and I don't think many other people do. I think that's the same picture, just different resolution. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, that's the first character. Pyro Boy uses a lot of people calling her Pyro Ganyu. We don't know yet. Moving on to Ayaka. She's been around since the closed beta test. Uh, she is a cryo DPS. She has a similar moveset to Mona on the right click. Um, and we don't know much else about it. She's got a very similar to Kaching style attack animation. Those things are subject to change. I really like this piece of armor on her on her thigh. So that's cool. Uh, okay, and then we finally we got the uh, true winner, Sayu, who is basically he's basically like is it who's the dwarf in Lord of the Rings? Here he is. What's his name? Is it Gimli? Can you see the similarities? I can, personally. Look at that. Very similar characters. Very small people who uh, who use claymores uh, and swords. So, obviously, uh, the inspiration coming from uh, from Lord of the Rings there. A little tiny character carrying around a big-ass sword. Um, <laughs> so, there we go. They look quite similar as well, to be fair. Um, anyway, so that's the uh, Anemo. It's an Anemo tiny Claymore user, which is exciting. Uh, and they are your three new characters. Not much more can be said uh, about them uh, other than that. But yeah, I think it's great that Mihoyo have released this information early. Let their players know what it's coming. And look, I'm super hyped for Kazuo. I'm going to summon for Kazuo regardless because I think his skill set is going to amplify the damage of my other DPSs. Uh, that sh this shouldn't change really who you want to summon for. But bravo to Mihoyo for releasing this information. And that is it. I'm Lost in the World. Thank you for watching. Say goodbye, chat. Say goodbye.